we're back. It's been a while since I've been at the house, but it's good to be coming home. I've become so attached to this house. It's the perfect blend of modern Australian and it encompasses all the colours and textures this unique landscape has to offer. Job's done. It looks amazing. You like it? Oh my gosh. We couldn't have done it without you. Hello. Aren't you glad I kept the palm tree? <laughs> Tell you what, it's given the hamstrings a bit of a workout at the moment. Let me guess, it's getting hanging from the ceiling. How did you guess? <laughs> oh, look at that, one piece. No bad luck for Tim. That is so not fair. This house was a 1980s house, but I think we really nailed the modern Australian brief. Yeah. We've shown Australians what they can do with design and what they can do themselves. Yes, definitely. Welcome home. Then coming into that hallway with that big credenza moved out and the wall gone, it's a completely different experience. Now it just draws you into the house. We've got this beautiful big opening now that goes all the way to the backyard. It was so dark in this hallway before. But now we don't have that wall blocking all the natural light coming in from the kitchen. It's light, it's bright, and it's really inviting. Everything the brief asked for. Let's go into what was formerly the good room and now the kids' room. You do the honours. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, wow! What was the good room is now the better room. The, the, better. the gooder room, the better room. <laughs> what I love is that it's the fancy living room that the kids don't go in, and now it is the dream space for kids. And the light coming in this room is gorgeous too. Totally. Like I think when you have a bedroom, you want beautiful light that comes in. So obviously we've removed a lot of the trees and a lot yeah. of the hedging from all the windows. So we're letting all that natural light into the rooms and therefore you don't have to turn your lights on all the time because it's not dark and dingy anymore. I didn't even think about how dark the house was and that every single room you needed lights on. I have something to surprise you with behind it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. We also have a home theater in this house. You're kidding! <laughs> Sit down, watch your cartoons, watch a movie. I'm having a dinner party out there and they can all be in here. And they the can all be in here. The funny thing would be is my husband would be in here too. <laughs> <laughs> I think if a, you know, a child asks to have their room you know, tricked out, I think that's tricking out a child's room. Yeah. <laughs> the bar's really set up for my kids now. I'm going <laughs> to the game at home, I think. This is what I said to Jono. I said, my son is going to die. This is amazing. 
Then we move out of there into the kitchen. Cast your mind back. Do you remember the old kitchen? Yeah. Like the timber on timber and it was really small, it was tight. Yeah, uh, it was it was here. The, and this yeah. was the access into oh. it. And now there's lots of entry exit points. You can move around, fit everyone in. And then there's heaps more storage. We got the full oh. pull-out pantry. Oh, it like comes out. This is just such a good system that comes I like, with the cabinetry. I like that it's on the door. Yeah. Love that kitchen. What I a love, transformation. <laughs> I love the appliance cupboard. The other reason that this is a nice fancy designer looking kitchen. Uh, yep, right. You may notice there's no toasters and kettles no, going on. No. Because here oh, we have the full appliance cupboard. That was a really fun DIY. You get a full spectrum of giving each trade a go. You do a bit of tiling, put in some lighting strips, you do some painting, and it's really easy to just fully transform your average pantry space. And the only trade you really did use was a Sparky. Yeah, to get the PowerPoint in there. I've never seen a cupboard look so good. <laughs> you know what? It was really pretty simple. And that kitchen now, it's just fully opened up straight to that beautiful banquet dining area. Love the dining space. And you know what, John? I also love like the interrogation line. You've sort of just been like, have you done your homework? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted something a little bit more architectural and sort of just coming off the wall like a big sculpture. So and where's that from? Bunnings. You'd Bunnings. be surprised at what you can find when you when you know what you're looking you for. Look hard, yeah. yeah. I like the corner banquette and how it looks out to the landscape now. Yeah. It really does frame that view. So if you're sitting and you're entertaining lots of people, because really it's going to fit 10 people, you're entertaining and they're all looking out into that space. And the other good part of that is, is you've given yourself more space for the kitchen. So because that banquette seating yeah. pushes Pushed the right table over. closest to the wall, it's actually created a lot more space. I wanted to keep changes to the floor plan minimal where I could, but I really wanted to rejig some of those front rooms and the entry hallway area. Now, the rooms aren't thoroughfares, they're destinations, and that's a really important thing to consider when you're renovating your home. I think it really helps by moving the garage access to here. We've now got this beautiful long hallway that stretches the whole house. Through to the kitchen as well. And then you have this access. And I just love that you did these for pool noodles. <laughs> you gotta it's get funny. resourceful. When you have a party, you can just be like, oh, how great's my dining space? You're sitting on pool noodles. <laughs> Good conversation starter, right? <laughs> favourite space in the house? I just love the master. Welcome to the master suite. The most impressive design feature has to be adding the archway into the ensuite in the master bedroom. Opening that up to meet that double arch, mm. it's made that space feel huge. And then getting rid of that window above the vanity. But we added the skylight, which adds yes. that beautiful beam of natural light, especially in the shower. The skylight really does its job. And look how bright it is in here. And then speaking of natural light, as soon as you got rid of that structure that was outside the master bedroom, boom, there was just light everywhere in that room. Beautiful. New sliding door that leads you out into a beautiful fernery. New deck as well. That's really when you need to retreat from the kids. That's the full <laughs> parents retreat. You close that door behind you and you just take a little moment out there. And then outside the master bedroom, you go down that hallway and that was that weird little pokey rooms and now they really have their own personalities. They all talk to each other. There's the team bedroom, which is probably our simplest room. This room, we actually didn't do too much. No. Wardrobe's exactly where they are. Yep. Kept this archway. All I did do was get rid of the chest of drawers under here, yep. put a desk in, so it's really functional because you need a study space in a team room. Yep. And the rest is just the power of paint. Something I've really noticed and something that I'm really glad you've shown me personally, is to not be afraid to use a lot of colour in different rooms. It just fully transformed it and it's really fun and youthful, but then the study, that's the big transformation. That was the risky one, I reckon. Yeah, where you painted the whole thing blue. By painting the whole ceiling, it's going to make this room feel a lot bigger. And the reasoning is your walls just extend and just keep going up. 
The other thing is, we did things like lift those windows up so they weren't full height. You actually get more wall space. It made it feel bigger. And now we have two desks, like really decent sized desks. And cabinetry in there. And a sideboard. Again, heaps of storage, but it's a really functional space. It really is. You know, and I added in those plants that are gonna purify the air as you work, and that's gonna increase your concentration. And then just down from the study, we got the main bathroom. That is probably the one that gave me nightmares after day one. Remember like, <laughs> we were having a little therapy session there day one. Right, now you know what I'm gonna make you do? I'm gonna make you get in the bath because that's gonna tell us how big this room really is. Yeah. <laughs> is that relaxing? Not yet. We'll make sure it feels relaxing. I was thinking there is no way we can make this functional without moving services. And unfortunately it was the one that I had to do it. There was no other way around it. But it's really worked in the space. Everything's in the right spot now. It yeah. feels big, it's it feels bright. Big. We got the whole wet zone now with the bathtub, the shower and great vanity. Now where we did push a wall out was in the living room. I just cannot get over how huge this room feels now that we've pushed that wall out and got all that extra space. There was the a weird, weird workshop, workshop sort of thing. Yeah, with the toilet at the, the end. dunny out the back. <laughs> so now when you're having a dinner party, they can all sit in the living room. Feels like the appropriate size living room for the amount of people you'll be entertaining in that house. It's really made a massive difference to that space. You've got a desk in there, you've got the window the seat. The window seat. You know, this is probably one of my favourite spaces because it's this recessed window and I feel like I'm in the garden sitting here. It's the best spot in this room. And I know, especially outdoors, you talk a lot about zones. Yeah. And this is another little zone yeah. away from all the conversation area in here. In this living room. This is a personal space. This is a space where you have your me time. Yes. And what a view. Do you love it? I remember day one, we were standing at this, this window. window. I just am drawn out to this view. So I'm going to hide the roofs from next door yeah. and then bring in that borrowed landscape. The backyard just keeps going and going. I can see it now. Once these trees grow up past the fence a That's bit more, right. you're really looking at those beautiful green hills in the distance. My favourite, favourite part of this is that this is just your base level affordable product from store and what would normally cost thousands of dollars a custom joiner to make all your dream cabinetry come true, we did it by DIY. And it looks expensive. Well, because you're able to paint your own cupboards, then you can customise it to exactly the colour that you want. And I cannot thank you enough for these plant choices because <laughs> you love they're them. beautiful. Like, you need indoor plants in your styling because it literally brings it to life. That lovely box window that was created, it really frames my garden. And my deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the back garden and the deck, they lead out from that dining room and it is such a wow moment. Yeah. You push the bifolds and then that roof line goes right up. There is so much space. It is an entertainer's paradise out here. And I'm in love with this second living area down here. That's delicious. That is so good. I noticed that uh, I missed out on the pizza. <laughs> um, Jono, what happened there? I was busy building the garden. I know Jono's a good cook, <laughs> but I missed out on a good pizza. Don't worry, there's more pizza to come, I promise. And when you have a space like that, you're never going to want to leave. That is what Australian summers are made of. You're spoilt for choice, really. I love the fact you can still see the kids playing on the playground yeah. while you're sitting on the deck. Or pretty much from anywhere in the garden. I've created a full farm garden outside. You know, that vegetable garden I created. It is so lush. It's probably my favourite space out there. <laughs> I've never seen so many vegetables in one little space. So now we're going to be, you know, bringing our food from the garden to the table and then from the table to the bin and then back out to the worm farm. So it's a really great way to process that food waste from the inside to the outside. And you have the water tank as well. Yep, so we've got the water tank. It's connected to the irrigation system. It's going to water the garden. Any collection off the roof is going to be captured into that tank. And thank you very much for your help with that because no that was really intense 
integral part of keeping that garden alive. It's like a garden that just keeps on giving. There's so many different zones you've there created. Is. There's lots of places you can, you know, explore. It's destinations in the garden. Those zones really help you navigate your way through the garden. There is something for everyone there. Yeah. And it makes you want to use the whole yard. Yes, it does. the beauty of it. And I like as well that we were able to accommodate lots of lawn. And our lawn, you know, when we laid it, we had quite a lot of rain coming yes. down. <laughs> but we'll give it a nice top dress in springtime and it'll be totally fine. We've got some great drainage across the back of the property there. So. Yeah, just needs a good bit of sun on exactly. it. Exactly. And then moving in off the backyard through to the laundry. Hang or, in my boots. Hang in your boots on the mantle. Or your boots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, good upcycle. We've obviously got the clothesline that's against that wall now, which means that we don't have to use the dryer to do the clothes. And it's hidden behind that great screen. I feel like that was a team effort there. That was a that really was a good, good call, guys. And this, this is genius. So when you're drying your clothes, you don't have to look at it when you're entertaining with friends and family. Then you're into the laundry or fifth bedroom, the pet suite. It's called the pet suite for a reason because <laughs> pet suite. we've got the feeding station down here. Yep. The pet bed Cute. where if you don't have a pet, you can put a laundry basket in there. True. And the whole pet trough. You can wash your pets. Pet trough. <laughs> There's the hose and everything with it. Yeah. You could fit a doona or a labradoodle, whatever you have. <laughs> Just love the fact it's a really multifunctional laundry. You don't often see that. Mm. So having all that storage and be able to use it for so many different things, I think it's, it's just great design. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's oh. been so fun working with you. It's ups and downs. But it's been so <laughs> <laughs> you went pretty well with all our designer demands there. All those curveballs thrown right at me, you reckon? Is it right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't think they were like, I don't think they were demands. They were too unreasonable. No, they were more just, you know, things we really needed to do to meet the brief that's, you know, set out by Australia. We both learnt so much from you. If it was a DIY, you said no, but it's because you knew you knew that we could do it. I had faith. Yeah. You pushed back on me when I wanted you to do the driveway. I really want to give an elevated look to the front driveway, give it a really nice coat of paint. Okay. It's a DIY project right there. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Just learning some new skills here. We got the tin, you showed me how to do it, and it was so easy. I didn't have to get a trade-in to do it. Beauty DIY. You know what? There's a bit of DIY everywhere, I reckon. In every room, anywhere you look, This simple MDF box is about to become the most deluxe pet feeding station. You're gonna have this amazing designer detail on your kitchen for a fraction of the price and you can do it yourself. This is how to divide a staghorn and then put it onto a new backing board. The world's easiest, quickest DIY ever. The artwork. DIY. You painted that. I painted that. that. painted that. You surprised me with the artwork. I thought that was yeah. really clever. I thought that was a couple of thousand dollars worth of painting. And I use sample pots, so you get to do your own that fits the space perfectly. So what you're saying is get all the sample pots I have at home out and just DIY some art. DIY some art. I love it. There's something that everyone can take home and do themselves. Totally. That's yeah. probably one of the beautiful things about this whole project is it's really easy DIY projects that really transform the spaces. And it saves you money. Every time you can do it yourself, you're gonna be saving money and putting that money back into the home or just back in your pocket. On that topic, we didn't have to get an electrician to do the outdoor lighting because it was all solar. I got them from the store, they were really cost effective and just literally put the spike on, put them in the ground. And they look great. And there's so many things in the house, like the solar lights, 
that are really energy efficient. We added the cladding which included the insulation, so we yeah. insulated the house, we added the double glazed windows. Because those old windows were so paper thin. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. going floor to ceiling essentially is just going to let all the heat of the house just straight out and it's going to cook you in the summer. What I love, especially in the bedrooms, when you can still have a fan, just have that air circulating around. Yeah. So we had to get rid of that real cringy situation in the master bedroom where it looked like the fan was going to hit that light at any second. <laughs> There's a nice new sleek fan in that master bedroom and in the summer that just gets the air circulating. It's so much better. And if you need it a little bit cooler, you can go to the living room, which has got the split system. Yeah. Which is obviously run off electricity, which could be cheaper to run as well. So, yeah. Got rid of all the gas in the house. The stove. It's not a gas anymore, that's electric. Yes. It's nice and sleek. Chuck some solar panels on the roof and you're good to go. And right. it's going to basically make the house a lot more energy efficient right. and a lot cheaper to run. You know what, something that I have really learnt from this experience is I have just been gobsmacked about how much stuff has come from Bunnings Marketplace. Marketplace has all those items that you can buy on the Bunnings website that you don't necessarily find in store, like furniture, styling items, pretty much anything for the house. I'm obsessed with it. I just want to sit in these green chairs because you know how much I love green. <laughs> I'm going to give you one guess where these chairs are from. Bunnings Marketplace. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I only just learned about my Facebook Marketplace. No, I only just learned about it too. I keep asking Jono, where's this from? Where's that from? He goes, Bunnings Marketplace. <laughs> Even down to some of the cushions and throws and there is so much on there. It's a one-stop shop. And there's literally beautiful pieces on there. Speaking of Bunnings, the Bunnings team members. Oh. Now, how Could we have done it without them? Like, they have been fantastic. The Bunnings team members have been so important and integral for bringing this house to life. They are experts when it comes to product and they're just really great people to work with. The minute we were saying, let's go, let's get on the tools, they just went for it and they were so keen. We couldn't have done this house without them. I love the Bunnings team. I secretly want one of those red shirts just to walk around store and pretend I'm one of them. But in all honesty, they have incredible product knowledge. They are so helpful and so friendly and we couldn't have done this job without them. It's one of those jobs that you, you know, you don't always want a job to finish and this is one of those. Oh, what a cheering <laughs> moment. Jono, can we go eat the cheese now? We can go eat the cheese. Are you coming? I'd love to, you guys, but oh, I've got to get to the next project. Oh no! Is this where we say yeah, goodbye? Yeah, I think it's goodbye. Oh, come oh. here, buddy. Thanks so much for all your oh, help. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Full oh, cuddle, Jono. Oh. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Back at you. See you later. Thanks for all your help, Tim. I'm getting teary. <laughs> I'm so impressed at how this house has turned out. It's a collective effort and it's created such a beautiful house. I'm just really proud of what we've achieved in this home. There is so much personality in this house and it takes modern Australian into a whole new direction. I love how beautifully all the spaces have come together. They speak to each other. They flow, they feel nice. Mm. They're beautifully styled. <laughs> Back at ya. We're done. Yeah, we can, can stay out here, here for hours. <laughs> Do we get to live here now? We just get to relax now. <laughs>